time to unbox another pair of sneakers. Don't worry, they're still close enough to tech. In one of my earlier sneaker unboxings, we did the Nike acronym Presto. And since then, I've fallen more and more into the techwear rabbit hole that I also hung around and scored the latest Nike acronym release, the Nike acronym Blazer Lows. I never got around to making an unboxing video of these because it was during my time away from this channel. But anyways, now we're going to be unboxing the in-between of these models, and it's in this. Let's get it unboxed. Before we continue with this video, I would like to remind you that if you are enjoying this content, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. I'm a solo content creator, and I do all this to make sure that all of you are informed about the products you're about to purchase. Every subscription helps keep this channel running. Thank you. Now, on to the video. This white Nike box with spot gloss contains the Nike Air VaporMax FK Mach 2 acronym or as it's regularly known as the Nike acronym VaporMax. It's in men's US 12 or women's US 13.5, and the official colorway is Light Bone slash Volt Light Bone, aka Johnny's Icy Passage. Let's get it opened. Upon opening up the box, we're greeted with wax paper that is customary of sneakers. It prevents the sneakers from rubbing off of each other during transit, protecting it during shipping. Underneath, we have the sneakers themselves. Would you look at that? It looks very chaotic with a busy design closer to the patterned ripped uppers of the Nike acronym Blazer Lows than the sleek Nike acronym Prestos. Let's get them out of the box. Here are the Nike acronym Vapor Maxes. Let's give you a tour of them. As usual, we start with the uppers. The Nike acronym Vapor Max has a very lightweight upper that's made of flynet with a custom graphic print designed by Errolson Hue. At first glance, it looks to be made of a repeating black and white pattern, but upon closer inspection, we can see that the pattern is slightly changed in each repeat, and has the geometrical motif of the letter A, for acronym, of course. An acronym of an acronym. The A is angled forward so it streamlines well with the movement of the sneakers when walking. This design is very reminiscent of the Dazzle camouflage used in warships and tanks during wartime. Pretty badass. Moving on to the middle, we can see that it's a one-piece tongue, denoted by no material cuts at the start of the tongue at the toe box. Flynet-made sneakers are usually just one big material sewn at the back, so this is standard. The VaporMax wordmark is here, and so is an elastic material on top of the tongue in the Volt colorway just so the sneaker would stay snug to your feet. There are no laces, but if you miss them, you can actually poke holes in the flyknit and sew them through if you are so inclined. At the front, there is a simple smoke gray toe rand. At the quarter, we can see a white fuse overlay. On the lateral side, there is an acronym Dynamics word mark and a little Nike swoosh, and on the medial side, there is just a little Nike swoosh. Both sides have a cutout and diffuse overlay of the acronym Triangle logo. Near the back end of the quarters, there are two dots on both sides. These are probably centering guide marks for the overlay, and right beside them are the acronym word mark on the medial side and the VaporMax word mark on the lateral side. Do note that there is no heel tab, so you're going to have to pinch the tongue and the heel liner when putting these on. At the heel, we can see a fuse overlay covering up the seam of the flyknit upper. It's got a stylized acronym wordmark printed on it. The insoles are removable and not glued on, and they feature the Japanese version of the acronym stylized wordmark with the acronym X Nike branding at the heel portion. One thing to note here, these are harder, stiffer, and thinner insoles than what we've seen acronym has used before on their Presto and after on their Blazer Lows. It must have something to do with the last part. Ah yes, we get to the most unique part of the Nike acronym VaporMaxis, the midsole and outsole. In this model, Nike has forewent their traditional way of having a soft foam or EVA material housing in either an internal or windowed air unit, exchanging it for an entire midsole made of air units. This is called VaporMax technology and as of 2022 is already in its fourth iteration. This version, though, is the first iteration and speaks volumes why Acronym chose this model to collab with. It's high technology, 
and it embraces the cyberpunk fantasy future Errolson Hugh is leading us all into. With all of that said, the bottom is split into two sprawling air units, one for both the forefoot and midfoot, and one for the heel. It is connected via a thin, hard piece of plastic here, but the bladders for each air unit are separate. The forefoot air unit is in three material versions, a clear one for the toe, a milky semi-translucent rubber for the outer pieces, and a white painted material for the midfoot area. The heel air unit forgoes the clear parts and just goes with white painted for the majority with milky semi-translucent rubber for the outer grip pieces. At the forefoot, under the clear rubber, is the acronym A logo, printed underneath the footbed. That's a nice touch. That's a very detailed look at the sneakers. Now let's see them on foot. What a very unique looking pair of sneakers. I'm not gonna lie, these have been my grails for a long time now. I've actually wanted these first before the acronym Prestos. Fit is perfectly true to size. Grip is okay, comfort is kind of meh. You can definitely feel the absence of a foam midsole, but it's not as bad as it looks. The air units give way to your weight and don't actually feel that you're going to pop them. And hopefully these don't pop, I wouldn't want to resole these anytime soon. And of course, I love them not just because they're acronym sneakers and they have this techno futuristic look to them that blends well with my tech wear outfits. I love them because they're also worn by some of my favorite people, including John Mayer. Hell, he appeared beside acronym founder Errolson Hugh for Nike's promotional videos for this model. So, how does it look? Is it your style or would you pass on these? I love them personally and I'm definitely going to be rocking them in 2023. Let me know what you think down below. As always, please like and subscribe, check out my previous video, and stay tuned to my channel for more tech and tech-adjacent videos. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!